In this video, I will walk you through basic troubleshooting steps in the case that InDesign crashes. Step 1. We will reset the preferences. You can find all preference data in the App Data folder. To get there, we will go to Users, Your Username, App Data, and then click into the Roaming folder. Once there, we will click into Adobe and locate the InDesign folder. This is where InDesign saves its preferences. From here, all we need to do is rename the folder. We also want to reset the cache folder. I will return to App Data and click into the local folder. From here, we will click into Adobe and locate InDesign. I will also rename this folder. Now when I launch InDesign, it will create new preference and cache folders, but with new settings. If we go back to the roaming folder, we can see that a new folder has been created where our preferences are being saved to. Step 2. We will double check the default printers. I will navigate to my system's printer settings and we can try changing the default to Adobe PDF or Microsoft Print to PDF. Also, first make sure that this option to let Windows manage my default printer is unchecked. Ok, now we can select Microsoft Print to PDF and here we can see an option to set as default. Then we could launch InDesign and see if that fixed the problem. Step 3. We will run InDesign as an administrator. I'll navigate to InDesign and if I right click on it, you will see an option to run as administrator. This option will give us some information, whether InDesign is lacking admin privileges while creating the preferences or something similar while launching the app. Step 4. We can make sure that InDesign is up to date. I'll navigate to the Creative Cloud desktop application and from the Home tab, we can see what version of InDesign is on the system. I currently have version 19.1 on my system. I can navigate to the Apps tab and under Updates, I can see if there's an update available for InDesign. If the app was already up to date, we can install and test an older version as well. I'll navigate to All Apps, locate InDesign and click on the three dots. From here, click on Other Versions and we are given many previous versions to install. I can install an older version and see if my problems are uniquely in the current version. If you don't have permission to do this, please contact your administrator. Additionally, if you have any third-party plugins installed within Adobe InDesign, you can try deleting them to see if that helps. Anytime InDesign crashes, you will see a crash report like this. By submitting a support case when you contact Adobe Support, they are able to reference the report and help you with your problem. I'll check this box, enter my email address, and send the report. I can also click on View Report here to see the full report that I could copy and paste into a text document to share with Adobe Support. These have been some basic troubleshooting steps for InDesign. I hope that they help. And if your problem persists, please contact Adobe Support, and one of our agents will be happy to help.